1600 sky, I'll take it. Reasonable team. <coughs> I think that's the one that Eduardo Cunha used in Liverpool, right? Alright, Spectria against Golden Ghost stuff. Some of the spam snarl. Marina looks decent here. Last one. Probably should be Great Tusk. Not a cool trainer card. No, oh, it's it's single strike. Okay, that's not ideal for my Spectria. Guess I have to immediately switch. They bleep when Storm turn one. Oh no. But if they do, they are opening themselves up to be Will-O-Wisps, so I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, based on my play that I just did, I would recommend it to were I to be my opponent. But... Would be... A brave play. But we've seen plenty of those already, this GC. This is Bleak and Storm, isn't it? It is. But Great Tusk is clutch! Let's go! <laughs> Nice one, Great Tusk. Speed drop doesn't matter. Like, to be fair, that's a pretty reasonable turn one. But now, I get to go for close combat into the Urshifu, and that goes off unless they Tailwind, and if they're Tailwinding, they're not Big Wind Storming. Right? Although it might be better to head on rush to cover for a Golden Ghost switch in. Because this will be a KO regardless like this. You know, like so. It, incineral switching in makes no difference. Like the Incineral's definitely KO'd on this turn. Like it's not surviving. Yeah, it might survive. If it's Citrus Berry, it might just about survive. And it is. Might be better if it lives. It's alright, we're dodging again with Great Tusk. Of course we're not. This is okay. Ooh, it did live. So then that means I can go into Spectria this turn, and Snarl might just KO the Incineroar, I really hope it does. Because I do definitely want to Snarl here. Mm -hmm. That did- yeah, I was gonna say that did a lot. And again, they're just bleeping storming. So we get plus two now with Spectria. I didn't pay attention. Are they cover cloak? Someone tell me in the comments. I won't be able to see it until the game's over. Oh, speed drop's annoying now. They don't need to tailwind. They're not covered cloak, okay. So my pre marina is living. So I'll attempt to Will O Wisp. And I'll attempt to Moonblast. And if they make the same play as turn one, then you know, fair enough.
But they didn't, so reasonable. I'm not sure you needed to Tailwind on that turn, though, because you got the speed drop on the Spectria, so you were out speeding. That just gave me Lefty's recovery. And also could have given me a Calm Mind. I do need either that Will-O-Wisp or that Moonblast into the Urshifu. Because I am assuming it's Focus Sash. Because it can protect. And then then I need to put it into... Yeah, there's the Wicked Blow. That's alright. Because with the minus one Bleak Wind Storm, even single target shouldn't KO the Primarina. And that's going to put them down into Sucker Punch range. And that did 42. And I'm going to recover up to 41. But that was single target. Now, I can Sucker Punch the Urshifu and Calm Mind. Because if they Sucker Punch with their own Urshifu to avoid my Sucker Punch, they're doing almost no damage to Chen Pao, or it's failing on Primarina and I get my Calm Mind. And I'll be able to wait this out enough to stall out Tailwind so my Sucker Punch is faster, I think. So I will Sucker Punch the Urshifu and Calm Mind. Fair enough, but I still get my Calm Mind. I can do the, I can do Suck Punch and Protect my next turn. Worth going for Terra Electric just so I don't take as much from the Tornadus. What do they potentially have in the back? Golden Go, Raging Bolt. Yeah, regardless, Terra Electric is best here. No, because then I'll take extra damage from the Sucker Punch, is what it would be. If they do Sucker Punch. So yeah, I'm going to Sucker Punch and Protect. Here. Means I got that one right, so that's good. Could have been a Terra Electric, though. Okay, not too much. And Pre Marina, with its calm mind, should be living the Blinkman Storm now. And the Tailwind's gone, so they're forced to Tailwind. It's Ogapon as the last, okay. But I think I still lose then. Not just the way out. Could have been Terra the Pre Marina and hope I live a Hornage, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Maybe I should have gone for Tornadus in case this was a spiky shield. There is a Terra. They went for Pre Marina, I'm still okay. Marina, even though Chen Pao target is the game winning play. Nah, of course not. Uh, sucker Punch. 
into Moonblast crit, or one of them crits. Probably needs to be the play. Sucker Punch does about half to Ogapon. How much would this have done? I'm going to be very sad if I crit the Moonblast now. Mm, it would have been close, but it wouldn't have done. So. Rip. Maybe switching into the Chempa on the Wicked Blow the turn Spectre got KO'd would have given me a chance. Nah, I don't think so. That would have been able to steal Ivy Cudgel. Still wouldn't have worked. It's clear that this team is not ideal, and I definitely need to switch teams after this GC. At least I'm getting content. And I hope that this is amusing even though I'm getting bodied. Reasonable. Great Tusk is great here if we're not in Trick Room. What's the Ursa Luna over? It's over Incineroar, isn't it? That's a good change. I like that. Right, so... Guarding Fire seems pretty decent as a lead here. Fire Ogre Pond is not bad. <coughs> I need Pre Marina because of the Ursa Luna. Am I leaving the Great Tusk? I think I am. Trainer card. I like Shiny Grim Smell. It's way better than regular Grim Smell. It was my first Shiny back in Sword and Shield that I, I got. Blue Impy Dimp was really cool when it hatched from the egg. So this is alright. I could commit to my Terror immediately and KO this Urshifu. But if I do, the Ursa Luna is looking pretty decent against me. So instead, I will Howl, and I will Taunt the Frigirath. And I will accept the U-turn. Because if they don't U-turn, I can just do the um, Terror on this turn. There is the U-turn. That was always happening, but I'm living. Can't be into an Ursa Luna, right? Because I was surely going for Ivy Cudgel into that slot. Can't be Ursa Luna. It has to be Incineroar. Intimidate me. Yeah, it seems like they didn't think that one through properly. Even though I'm not actually going for Ivy Cudgel into that slot. Now... I don't think I'm in range of Grassy Glide at all. Are they just attacking with for a giraffe? No, they did try and trick him. That's alright. So, for a giraffe surely is KO'd to the Ivy Cudgel here. And there's no way that I'm in range of... Hmm. No, I definitely want a spiky shield. Yeah, I'll, I'll spiky shield. I don't want to get KO'd to a hyper voice and fake out. That would be counterproductive. Might have been worth going for the double protect. Because if they do fake out the gouging fire. Slash if they switch into Incineroar this turn. If this is Urshifu, I'm sorted. If it's Incineroar, then... Yeah, it's Urshifu. That's alright. 
Uh, I'm not so sorted, actually. I'm not sorted. Because this is going to be a KO now. So it's very possible Ursaloon could still sweep me here. think I'm actually just going to target down the for a giraffe here and just KO it. I'm not going to mess around with taunts. They're jolly, Urshifu. Oh no. But they shouldn't be. Like, you should objectively not be jolly, Scarf, Urshifu. It's not worth it. You miss key KOs. But I'm doing it this way around because I don't want them to have Click Trick Room in the face of my taunt. Um, because I'm assuming they're going to U-turn, and that will mean that they, you know, I can't go for, um, Torn this turn, therefore they'd be able to trick room. So, I'm, yeah, they're, they're adamant, as they should be. And this KO's the for a giraffe, because I'm plus one, and this is grassy terrain. And it crit. Didn't matter. Then U-turn will KO my, um, my Ogapon, like so, because they were trying to U-turn trick room again. And then here comes the Ursaluna, but then that's alright, because then now I can go into my um, uh, Pre-Marina, Moonblast KO the Urshifu, and then Ice Spinner will KO the Ursaluna in the back. With the Chen Pao. That's it. So this is Ursaluna, and then this is sequenced perfectly. Yes, cool. So yeah, what... I think that's right, isn't it? Can't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, let's go Primarina. I'm assuming they're terroring their Ursaluna, so then I guess I Sacred Sword. So I'll burn and burn walk here, even if they Surging Strikes me, it's fine. And I'll Moonblast KO the Urshifu. And if I don't, then I'll just suck a bunch of next turn. As far as I can see, I've pinned them. Mm -hmm. Here's the Terra Normal, assumedly. I mean, if the Ursaluna... It's not Ursaluna. Um, if the Ursaluna was faster than my um, Pre-Marina, I can still lose. But it shouldn't be. This is going to look silly in the face of the... Um, Surging strikes now, but that's alright. It was just so that I didn't get KO'd this turn. They're attacking Pre-Marina, so it looks even sillier. But, that's alright. Because if the Zershu is able to K uh, survive, then I just get to Break and Swipe next turn, and that will KO it. It's in range of Break and Swipe and Moonblast for sure. Might even just be Moonblast. Yeah, like so. Blood Moon, so they correctly targeted the Free Marina, but that's fine, they can't Blood Moon this turn. The game is definitely over. That wasn't even Life Orb. So it is Howl. They can no longer Terra, so it's entirely safe to go for. Not oh, Sacred Sword. Um, I was going to go for Sacred Sword if they did Terra. Um, but now it's still just Ice Spinner. This KO? Probably should. Nice. Alright, here we go. True of truest streaks is not beginning right now. But I won a game. Almost done. A few more games.
Does this top 2,000 or whatever, does that factor in the like Japanese and Korean players? It should still, right? It used to previously. I don't see no reason why it would have changed. So if I do win at least a couple more, then I should get at least one or two championship points, and they could come into play. Exactly 1600s, nice. Because ninth and, oh no, ninth and 10th place in Europe um, for the travel award had 401 and 400 points, so the one or two points could actually matter. But basically I'm just seeing this as I'm getting content, so. I'll make a best team next time. At least it's a fun team. Um, I think I do want to lead with Gouging Fire. And I'm bringing Shen Pao and Ogre Pond. What would the last one be? It's usually Spectria against Don Dozo stuff. Yeah, I guess it will be Spectria. Although... Great Tusk is not bad. Ah, it's not good enough. That's not a cool training card. Huh. That's not the lead I expected, what? Hmm. Well, they could just Tailwind and Draco Meteor KO my Gouging Fire. I guess I'm forced into Burning Bulwark and Snarl. Interesting lead. So I don't want to commit Terra Fire just to live a Tatsugiri, given that there's a Dondozo waiting in the back that I want to be able to break and swipe. If they target the Spectre here, that's fair enough. But this is not a lead I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Okay, straight away. And assumedly Dragon Move. Okay, I can still play somewhat. That's alright. Shame I didn't leave with Pre Marina. Pre Marina would have been a fantastic lead here. And I should have paid attention. Was that Covert Cloak? It was. What was it? Yeah, Ogapon and Chien Pao. Don't want either of those to take the Draco. I will still attempt to breaking swipe. And. Any point in snarling again? Because they're going to Draco drop themselves down super weak anyway. So I'll shut up all the Tuskiri here. I mean, I am assuming there's some kind of boosting item. Because if they're not, then. Like, if it's, if it's still just Choice Scarf, then I'm assuming Gouging Fire will still live. Mmm, probably not. Oh, I'm faster. Well, that's pretty sweet. Well, that's a bulky Tatsugiri then, that means it's not going to be boosting item, and that means it's not going to KO, and it's going after Spectria, and it crit. No, it's Choice Specs. It's just Choice Specs. So it is boosting item, but that's fine. I'm perfectly content with this. Knowing that my Gouging Fire is faster is pretty sweet. And they are definitely Choice Specs. There's no way they KO Spectria at minus one if they are not Choice Specs. So it is definitely Breaking Swipe. Now, I could consider Sucker Punching the Tornadius, but I don't think that helps me because their Bleakman Storm would go first. Do I want to commit Terra Electric here just to take a little bit less from Bleakman Storm? Because I could also Terra Blast the Tornadius this turn because then that would cover for them hard switching into Dondozo. 
think I'll just regular Ice Spinner instead. Uh, switching Tatsugiri, so that's alright. Because I do ideally want to save... Oh, that's a lot of names, isn't it? Yeah, I'm starting to learn those names. Um... Hmm. Yeah, the Fluttermane switching isn't ideal, is it? Well, at least the Tornadus is KO'd. I haven't used their Terry yet, have they? That would have been super sweet if I'd have heat crashed. Now there's Ogopon, so it's, mo it's Mono Tatsugiri. That's fair enough. I can Burning Bulwark on the final turn of Tailwind, right? Yeah, cool. So, Burning Bulwark here, and I'll Sucker Punch the Ogapon. If they follow me slash Swords Dance, oh no. But if they attack here, then theoretically they'll be in range for me to just go for a Terra Superpower and then a Heat Crash into the Fluttermane, right? So they didn't Terra. But did they status? They did not, so that's good. That's good damage. Yeah, Moonblast there, and Ivy Cudgel here. Hmm. Actually, is it Terra Fire? No, it's Terra Fire, Heat Crush, Fluttermane, Spiky Shield. No, I'm no, I'm really weak on the gouging fire actually. So hmm. Hmm. Next two breaking swipes will KO the Ogre Bomb, right? Assumedly. And then, because if I Terra KO the Fluttermane this turn, then... No, but if they switch the Fluttermane, then the Heat Crash won't KO. And then I won't be able to get them on this turn. Yeah, I will go for this. Okay, they stayed in, so I think I'm good. Because two Breaking Swipes should KO the Ogre Pond. And Tatsugiri's definitely in range now, and they commit the Terror on the wrong Pokemon. Good. Yeah, this is decent. I'm pretty sure I win now. Because they can't randomly, like, Terra Fairy with the Tatsugiri anymore, either. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Well, that was a mistake from me, wasn't it? Didn't factor in that follow me. That is going to be a KO though, but I need to survive with both Pokemon here. It hasn't gleamed, I survived with- no, Gouging Fire's super weak. Yeah, I didn't factor in follow me at all, did I? Ah, oh, but I'm so clutch. <laughs> oh, my EVs are just got to. This is where their focus sash on the on the flutter main. Because that didn't do much damage. Now, should I cover for them being focus sash by doubling the flutter main? I think I do, right? Because muddy water won't KO me. Would that be a throw? No, because like assumedly he crashed like if I'm heat crashing and Ivy Cudging the Tatsugiri, I have to KO the Flutmane this turn. But I don't, right? No, cause, yeah, because Breaking Swipe and Ivy Cudgel wins if they are not Focus Sash. They didn't KO my Gouging Fire, they're not Choice Specs. So I'm going to double into the Flutmane. They are not Focus Sash, so I may have messed up by going for Breaking Swipe. But I 
don't think they can double KO me. Yeah, let's just Draco Meteor, so it's still fine. That's alright. I can still just Breaking Swipe and I'm okay, so... I do wonder what item they were, though, on the... On the part of me. Did I randomly miss a Booster Energy? I don't think I did. Can't have done. If it was Booster Energy Speed, they would have outsped me, and if they were... Booster Energy Special Attack, they would have KO'd me, so... Curious about that one. But, I'm happy enough with that. I think that's back in the 1600s. Which has been my benchmark, I guess. But, almost there. Just one more episode.